Okay, now we are officially back. That was surprisingly fast for the first part. See these pillars right here? You can't break these pillars with anything. I'll show you how to break those later. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you're going to need to learn how to bring, break them soon. Oh, these are bumpers, by the way. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, this is how you break these pillars. You gotta step on those things and then spin like that. And to stop spinning, you merely have to jump. That's it. Nothing very complicated, nothing hard, and what's up here? Oh, there's an emblem. Uh, <laughs> and I'll just take that bee, thank you. These bees kind of remind me of Charmy a whole lot. You know, of Charmy from the Sonic series? Actually, it's more like the Chaotic series. Uh, you know, with uh, Vector and Army and, you know, those guys, those guys yeah. And uh, just, I don't know, maybe it's like the predecessor of them, I don't know. <laughs> And I got lucky there, all the flickies went towards me when I got, took a little hit. Or I should say the flickies took a hit. And the next area. Wow, one minute for one area, wow. <laughs> I have a feeling that some people make a mountain out of a molehill of this game. But I, I have a feeling that I'm going to be regretting that later. <laughs> regretting those words later. Uh, I can spin through those pretty easily. Yeah, I'll just take this. And I'll go through here. You have a lot more control over this than a lot of people think you do. Because if you really press on and hold on the control pad, you will go fast on when you're spinning like that. Oh, that's the way back, by the way. I don't have to go that way. Uh, and I wouldn't recommend breaking through that either in case you lose a flicky or something. Then it'll get lost on the other side. But anyway, uh, yeah. Crocodile here. Whoa, little flicky took a hit there, but that's okay. We got him back. And there's probably an emblem up here. It always seems to be, yeah. Always seems to be emblems on top of springs. I don't know why. Oh, fire shield. That'll come in handy. Yeah, I mean, red shields protect you against fire. So, yeah, this fire right up here does not hurt me one bit now. As long as I don't lose the shield, of course. <laughs> and, um, yes, I'm going to need to spin my way through something down here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I have to carefully navigate my way through. And... I can kill enemies by spinning too, like that. That's pretty nice. You can just walk right into them. That's another very nice, easy way to kill enemies. And there's another enemy, and I'll just jump right into the ring, right out of the spin, and go to the next area. Woo! Automatic! Okay. <laughs> And, there's, yeah, there's an emblem up there. Yeah, the idea with those emblems is to have enough flickies toted, against, uh, toted touching you so that you can uh, unlock those different areas. Um, you know, I mean, not unlock, I mean, so you can use the flickies to get those emblems. So the flickies are actually quite useful, as long as they don't get knocked off you, which gets pretty annoying sometimes, but that's uh, part of the game. <laughs> Yeah, part of the game is a little bit of perfectionist, so to speak, by not taking hits so you don't lose your flickies. And I just got another extra life. Woohoo! And there's the last enemy, would you look at that? <laughs> and that ends Act 1. Yeah! <laughs> Gotta love that score theme. It's just so classic. <laughs> Rusty Rune Zone 2. And there's some rings up here, and oh, emblem, no, no emblems. But yeah, collect 10 emblems, as I said, to gain a free continue. That's only if you lose all your lives, though, of course. Well, I need to spin. I'll probably need to spin. I usually need to spin. Oh, there's some more spinners up there that seem to be in a better position to use. Um, well, there's the ring. I don't need to get that yet. Don't need to go in there. Well, I also want a shield, but I don't really care about the shield at the moment. And there's a B. How's it going, B? And invincibility, invincibility. Invincibility really helps in this game. Because you can really run around looking for enemies quickly without having to really uh, baby step your way around things, so to speak. Not baby jump, baby step. You know, when you're going really carefully around places, and there's the fifth one. I can go to the next area right away, just like so. Yeah. And down the portal thingy. Which is more like a trapdoor or whatever, I don't know how to call it. And I'm pretty sure I have to use this to spring up on that thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna go up here and let myself fall. And yeah, there we go. And I think I have to use this to break. Ah, oh, I was gonna say, don't touch the thing on the wall. The thing on the wall is sharp. It's designed to kill hedgehogs. <laughs> 
And by the way, you cannot jump while you're spinning. Well, you can, you can jump while you're spinning, but it's, you know, you'll lose your spin. I think the easier way to get across the scap would be to do one of these dealios and get ourselves an emblem. That's the easiest way I found to get across the gap, honestly. Um, there's one. There should be, an, yep, there's another one right here. Isn't there a way to get up? Uh, no, wait, that's the way back from the next area. And there's another. Ooh, we're going down here. I think there's another one around this corner here. Yes, there is. There's a bee. I don't know what the name of the bees are, but it's a bee. Uh, I have to do some tricky jumping, and there we go. <laughs> there's a fifth one, and then the ring should be right up at the top of these stairs. Yep, just as I thought. I remember this game pretty well, surprisingly, for not having played it so, for so long. And here's the next area, there's a nice little uh, crocodile. Oh, and yeah, another thing that you can do to kill enemies easier is to jump right before you're going to touch them. That takes a little practice to do as well, but it really makes killing enemies so much easier. And I'm gonna have to go up that way later, aren't I? Unless I won't. I can just break through it, can't I? Uh, whoa, it got a little fast there. Uh, wait, will I have to use this? I think I have to use the spin to get ahead. Yes, I do. And there we go. There's number five and break through here. And I'm gonna have to jump across. Ah! And try it again. Oh, well, no. I guess I gotta use a platform. I was trying to do it all at once, and there we go. And I have to spin through here. And there's the last one. I should just get stopped, and there it is. That is Act Two. Yeah, I think that first part was only so 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 and so long because uh, I had to do like all the intro sequence and stuff like that. By the way, on bosses, I'd recommend only grabbing so many rings at once. It's very helpful if you would do it like that because you want to save your rings for later. And uh, yeah, jump on these paws like this, and then just jump up to him like that. Whoa! By the way, his arms hurt you, as you can see there. Oh, I have. Oh shoot! I didn't mean did not mean to grab the rings like that. And by the way, when he pulls his uh, left paw back, or actually that would be his right paw, you want to press to the right. I mean, yeah, to the right to hit him. When when you're standing on the paw to his left, you have to press press up to hit him. You know, when you do your jump, and you want to hold the jump button as long as possible to get to him. Just like that. It's really not that hard of a boss. It just takes a little practice to get used to the 3D physics of it. And there it is. That is the end of the boss.